size for use of your pasture. Go on down through here, we're gonna, this ranch is gonna feed 398 tons of hay. And again, we're gonna value that at market price. This year we chose to value that at $78 a ton. Uh, maybe that's undervalued again, but uh, you, could, you could argue that around. But essentially we get down here to the bottom and our total feed cost for this ranch is $53,000. Total cost per cow, $321. And our total feed cost per hundred weight of calf sold is $61. So again, if we're selling calves for a, a, a buck ten, a hundred weight, sixty-one dollars of that price is going to pay the feed bill on these calves. Got anything to add there, Aaron? Just that as we look at our cost, we're going to see that feed is the largest cost typically as we think about raising a pound of calf. And so when we think about where are opportunities to maybe trim costs, we want to look at those areas that are the largest first, because if we could reduce our feed cost by 10%, in this case, we'd reduce it by six, almost seven cents per pound. And so we, when we think about looking at the different areas where our unit cost production are involved, if we can look at opportunities to make changes, we want to look at those numbers that are the largest first. Good point. Okay, keep going here. Livestock costs. These are all the miscellaneous costs that go with raising calves, uh, from medication to replacement heifer development costs, uh, fuel costs on the ranch, trucking, marketing, bull depreciation, and uh, maybe some interest on some, on some operating loans, those kind of things. And so we add all that up, our, our total livestock costs for this herd uh, contribute $26 to the total cost of producing a hundred weight of steer calf. And then lastly, we're going to look at our overhead costs. And uh, we use a method called the DIRTY-5 method, and that's an acronym, the DIRTY, D-I-R-T-I, -I, Depreciation, Interest, Repairs, Taxes, and Insurance. And there's a, uh, a sheet here to help you calculate that. So uh, there's some suggested ones here. Let's look at equipment. Um, we want to add up our total equipment inventory, and, and, and we'll get to that later. Uh, but it, and then we want to figure out what percent we want to charge ourselves in depreciation. And uh, these are the suggested numbers that are developed from research and from looking at averages of lots of different ranches. They're going to suggest we charge ourselves 10% depreciation on our equipment. Uh, maybe you have old equipment and you said, well, mine's not going to depreciate 10% a year. Maybe it's uh, going to depreciate 5% a year. Okay, that's fine. You put 5% in that number there. Uh, but our repairs here, they're suggesting we charge ourselves 2% on our repairs. If you're the same guy that has the old equipment, then maybe you want to charge yourself 7% in that instead of 2%, okay? Some, some money to pay for repairs. So what we end up with here is what they call the dirty factor. And for this one here, it's 18% if there's interest on that uh, equipment. And excluding interest, we're looking at 13%. And then we go back and enter that in our overhead. So our entire equipment inventory for this ranch is $15,000 and we're going to enter our number here, our 18% with interest. And so every year this ranch needs to produce $2,700 to pay the overhead on that equipment. And we can do the same thing for our breeding herd and our, our building. And so at the bottom here we come up with a total uh, contribution to the cost of this ranch in the overhead tab. And so this one is five dollars uh, per cow in overhead that we need to support this ranch. Okay, so going in here to the summary tab, so we've got some costs on feed, livestock, overhead, uh, total gross income, total costs. So here's our total returns to unpaid operator labor, management, and equity. So this is before we pay ourselves. Uh, if we've got hired help in there, we can put that in our livestock costs. Uh, but this is what this ranch is going to return, and here it is based on that 100 pound of steer calf. Uh, this is based on total cows here. So this ranch has a total unit cost of production of 93 cents for every steer calf it sells. So that's our, our summary tab. Any final comments on that, Aaron, before we get into benchmarking? No, I guess the, well, I guess just one comment I would make is that it sounds like we're really hammering on folks that you got to cut costs, and that is part of it. But any dollar you spend, you should expect to get more than one dollar in return. So if you can spend a dollar and get a dollar ten back, that's a dollar well invested. And so we're not, as we're saying, you shouldn't spend money. It's just 
look at how you do spend and look at what dollars you are spending and where are those dollars going to make you the most dollars back. Good point. Yep, you bet. Again, that ratio has two sides to it, production and cost. So 